Hey everybody, welcome to the Cardboard Crew. It's your boy, Brian Phillips, head of the pack, top dog in the house. Oh, ooh, 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 where are my boys <laughs> at? Where are my dog at? With <laughs> me today go. is our friend, the man with the cards, to put this whole thing together. Where would we be without him? Roy Jin, say hello to the fans, Roy oh, boy. That's me. That's <laughs> him, that's fans. him. Some would call him the second co-host. I would say no, because I don't want to feed his ego. But we got to introduce him anyways. Say hello to our boy, Damian Castro. I honestly thought you were talking about yourself. But you said <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to introduce yourself. Twice. But yeah, no, I'll take that. Yeah, I like that. I went <laughs> Next in line, the guy who does things. I don't know what he does on his day-to-day -day life. I know he works in a factory, shipping boxes of books that he likes. He's the incorrigible anime weeb guy of the group. What else could I say other than his name is Leroy? Everybody say hi to Leroy. Leroy. What up? Hey, Leroy. I got really hey, confused. I thought it was me for that first half. <laughs> <laughs> like, you had me in the first half, not going to lie. <laughs> Last but not least, also working in a factory making helicopters for people that can't afford them. But not the one that Kobe flew, so don't come oh. at him in his mentions. Oh. He's not responsible. Uh, no. <laughs> Justin Phillips. I want to say hi to Justin. Hi. Ooh. Man, not just impressed. Was, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, a little, I'm a little sad. I, I'm okay with this. He, he threw us all for a loop. A loop. <laughs> what a roller coaster! Also, uh, I'm upset because we finally, we now did it out of order of who has the most Instagram followers, and I finally <laughs> passed both Damien and Leroy. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I don't know. What you been posting? Yeah, yeah. Not, what? Nothing. I just people just randomly get, you just randomly get follows occasionally. Uh, okay. I get followed by women that. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that bride, you're Are you getting all the porn bots? Maybe. I was gonna say, <laughs> I I follow follow Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> people be talking about Game Stonk this week. They're like, whoa, it increased 300% in price, but they're sleeping on this luxury children's cardboard. This retail $90 box is now. 250 plus pushing $300. This is the real value right here. That box is? <laughs> yeah. Holy yes. shit. But one? is it <laughs> But is it no. schooling over hedge funds in the process? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I really want to stick it to them. Does Whoa. it have a doge on it? I think it's cardboard hedge funds screwing everyone else over cuz for Just cards, a bunch so of like <laughs> Bunch of finance bros watching. It's like, fuck! He's got another one of those packs! <laughs> I know where he lives and get him. <laughs> they feel really attacked right now. Yeah. If anybody wants to buy in on my hedge fund, <laughs> predicting that Roy's box will be worthless, <laughs> I'll be taking it. I'm in. Sold. Sold. Uh, I'm in 140%. To short sell my, my box. Uh, I'm going to short sell uh, Roy's box here. We all believe that it's going to fail. I, so I'm going to say there's the my Venmo. Pikachu in this box. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be that $330 Pikachu, and you'll lose all your money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Roy. I have confidence. Uh, I already, I already Venmoed Brian money, so uh, I hope, I hope he's Venmoed me more back. I'll just get bailed years. out. I'll that's just get bailed money. out by other hedge funds. You know? If not this box, maybe the next. Uh, wow. I'll get that rainbow fat Pikachu. You'll if see. it's the last thing I do. <laughs> yeah. Got to go, Team Rocket, on this yeah, box. He's blasting. <laughs> All right. I was thinking about team rocket the other day and about how like their mantra their song mm -hmm. nothing about what they say is evil no absolutely not <laughs> yeah. they're absolutely protecting not. the world from devastation Do you, yeah like <laughs> then what i don't think they're, they're supposed to be united evil, are they <laughs> no a steel steel they, they are the I was saying, they are the TV bad guy Pokemon. in the TV show and movie. They're generally right. so, considered evil. So it starts off. It starts off a little threatening. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Okay, right off the bat, I'd be like, "Oh shit, these guys are gonna fucking mug us or something." Like they popped out of nowhere. 
But they, then they take a complete 180 and they say to protect the world from devastation, <laughs> to unite all people within yeah. our nation, yeah. to denounce the evils of truth <laughs> and love, to extend <laughs> our reach to the stars. They're doing the more power. than like the GOP has ever decided <laughs> to do. These people are like, and then they, then they roll call Jesse <laughs> James, <laughs> Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Also, like, damn, <laughs> fast. And then, and then it goes another 180. And gets real threatening again. Surrender now or prepare. To fight. <laughs> but and then you forgot the most important yeah, part at right. all of that. Meowth, that's right. Meowth has, hey, no. has to get his. Name Waba right. Fett. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, when they were developing the show, they were like, okay, we got to have some baddies in there to thwart Ash and the gang. Right. And they're like, yeah, of course. Yeah, it makes sense. We got this, we got this idea Team Rocket. They're like, they're like a group, they're like a group, of, a gang, basically. Oh, yeah, 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 gang, that works, that works. People hate gangs. We gotta have a gang in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're trying, they're trying really hard to steal Pikachu because Pikachu is, you know, mascot, mm -hmm. gotta make him important. So they're gonna steal Pikachu. Yeah, of course, typical gang activity, gang steal. <laughs> so, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they show up every time to harass them, yeah, okay, they say this, this this song this this little group mantra yeah it makes sense but it's like lay out their evil scheme uh yeah yeah sort of <laughs> <laughs> well let us hear it <laughs> and then they were just like to unite all people with the donations they're like what <laughs> <laughs> by any means necessary <laughs> oh, okay. that's the but to be fair they say within our nation that means they want to convert them to the rocket pa rocket <laughs> I mean, aren't we all just one people, though? Like, you really think about it? Aren't we just one nation, I've one people? Unite thought... all people within our nations is, like, literally the first thing Biden said when he got inaugurated. So it's like, uh, he's fucking Team Rocket! He's fucking Team Rocket! Yeah. Oh, man, he just killed Pikachu. Oh. <laughs> I just Damn, such a say, weird, I never, creative choice. I never thought this deeply about Team Rocket's model, <laughs> motto it, today. I, it, like, popped up in my head. Because I think somebody posted something on Instagram about, like, Team Rocket... And then I was like thinking of, for some reason, uh, truth and love, the truth and love line <laughs> popped in my head. And I was like, wait, why were they <laughs> talking about truth and love? Don't and then I looked at the lyrics and I was like, wait, what? None of this makes sense. Don't they potentially say it wrong, though? Because when Butch and Cassidy show up, they're like, they say something they, different and they argue about it. They say their own version, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I really? never heard of this. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Butch Butch and Cassie. Yeah, there's yeah I don't. I like the Sundance Kid. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, Jesse James and Butch Cassidy. <laughs> Ultimate showdown. Where cards are you? These spoilers. <laughs> Whoa, spoiler alert! Butch and Cassidy. Let's see. I don't know. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Here's our mission, so you better listen. Ooh. To infect the world with devastation. Oh. To blight all oh. people in every nation. Yeah. To denounce the goodness of truth and love. <laughs> to extend our wrath to the stuff. Oh. Cassidy and Butch, of course. War Team Rocket <laughs> circling Earth all day and night. Surrender to us now, or you'll surely lose the fight. Yeah, that's way more villainous. <laughs> I hate all of that, Only though. villains it's do like that. the roughest rhyme. Like... <laughs> so I'm thinking... Uh, Whoa! Uh, this, is, this isn't the rainbow one. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, it's a so fat nice. Pikachu. Fat hey, $30? Hey, $30? Hey, you $30 lost your money. Short, short, trying yesterday. to short the market. Hey, the he didn't get, I was betting that he wouldn't get the rainbow version. So I still... <laughs> I we're think still I still yeah, we're, yeah, we're only like two, three packs in. <laughs> well, there's our, all our luck right there. It's in a good pack yeah. opening. <laughs> this one Pikachu, this piece of paper, it's like worth uh, a, Dirty. A, tenth, Dirty. a tenth of a GameStop stock right there. What <laughs> <laughs> is GameStop at right now? I think 300, give or take. <laughs> Let's see. Man. Wild. Oh, 325. It did dip down to 250 today. <laughs> Scary. They held tight, baby. Mm -hmm. They didn't let Robin Hood bully them <laughs> into selling. I mean, they can't even. They couldn't even if they wanted to. I think. Yeah. Well, they can sell. No, they, they tried to alter the market. Yeah, they said that if you can only sell and not buy, that's completely altering the market. 
Yeah. I thought they couldn't change anything. I thought they no, were it was that's what they uh, that I watched a bit of that CNN interview, and they're like, "Why didn't you halt everything instead of just?" <laughs> but you all you did was halt the buying, and he was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, we're squirm, squirm. protecting our customers." Like, yeah. okay, I'm yeah. just a fucking faceless robot for the company. <laughs> <laughs> Let me so recite my line. The guy, the guy behind Robin Hood was that young. He looked a lot younger. Well, that was the whole him. idea of Robin Hood. It was supposed to be like mm-hmm. stock trading oh, yeah. made easy for us youngins. And for, us. it's a someone described it or the easily as like it's a plug and play type. Like uh, <laughs> okay, okay. nice. And, uh, I like it. You thing. can get your money real quick and you're out. No, no, no. Like, right, it makes sense. Like, uh, you know what? Now that we're actually making money and we're mm-hmm. just like every other stock trading mm-hmm. company, we're gonna act just like mm-hmm. those stock trading. <laughs> well, the thing yeah. is, they like the people that actually do the exchanges for them is a giant company, and they like purchase uh, the data of what people want to trade on it. So Everybody's it was never for the people. Nope. Well, don't they also the sell? Price. They also sell the all the data and stuff to hedge funds and stuff like that. Yeah, ex- exactly. They're part of wow. the man. They're the system. So they're basically just like informing hedge, hedge funds on which trends which, are. What's trending? Well, which to short shorts uh, sell on. They're like, hey, look at this. But it show, it's like showing what people are looking at a lot, what people are like, just like the data of what yeah. people are doing on that app. So it gives the hedge funds an advantage of like what to do with what money. Yep, people with money so, always have an advantage. Always. They always win, those sons of bitches. <laughs> Damn, pay to win. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, it's, it's pay to win, and then it's like pay to win, and then it's but it's also like. Hey, 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 you can't pay to win. Only we can pay to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. don't be using our tactics. Those are our tactics. <laughs> Only villains do that. And we're the villains. <laughs> <laughs> They're Team Rocket. <laughs> no, but like Butch Cassidy, Team Rocket. Just, yeah, Not we Jesse James. Be, yeah, we gotta be Jesse James and the face of Butch Cassidy. <laughs> I just want to be Polygon. I get one episode and I never appear again. <laughs> Not in life. America, you don't. <laughs> and not en- anywhere. You traumatized no, in, Japan, children. in Japan, he aired in one episode. That's the air he got banned in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, th- that's what I mean. Like, Yeah, you get one episode and then you're done. Yeah, you're yeah. Never, but then he never, never, again. he never came back. Not even. I still can't believe like the controversy was so big that... Wait, what was the controversy behind Polygon? So, basically, there's an episode with Polygon where i can't remember what happens <laughs> basically at that one of the like porygon sorry the height of the episode like a power plant like sparks and like goes crazy and what happened was there were so much flashes it gave kids seizures a lot like, of kids people seizures. a lot of people got seizures <laughs> and so they put the blame on porygon porygon <laughs> caused it the out thing on porygon? Yeah, because yeah. The, two, the two pokemon that were in there was ash's pikachu and porygon so they're not gonna put it on pikachu they're gonna put it on pikachu so they blamed uh, porygon and porygon has yet since then never appeared on episode of pokemon right, we're not gonna we're not gonna <laughs> throw our <laughs> mascot under the bus yeah. yeah it's not just porygon but yeah. it's all of porygon's like evolutions and everything like that yeah. Mark, never good been on lord and just became and, known as the like Porygon episode. Yeah, that was the I one he was introduced. So yeah, not too long ago, like a couple months ago, Pokemon finally admitted that it was Pikachu that caused it. <laughs> yeah, and that it was it Porygon. <laughs> and I was like, Porygon's free. <laughs> yeah, they, they admitted it. I didn't see. I, it. I, didn't I, hear I about thought this. I saw it. I could have sworn and maybe saw it on Twitter. Maybe I'm wrong. But like, but, it was super obvious though. Yeah, Why did they need like... to blame anybody? Why couldn't they just blame the animators? <laughs> because it's, kids like, don't oh, understand it's... that. Well, no, but 
kids <laughs> didn't get it. It's just the people prone to seizures got it for yeah, obvious I know. reasons. I would say, yeah, I would say, like, it's not kid, the kids that are upset. It's the, probably the parents that are upset. But no, like, but I'm saying yeah. to tell a kid why Porygon's never going to appear on an episode again. They got to tell him something. <laughs> you don't, I know, that's my point, is you don't have to get rid of Porygon. Like, <laughs> just say, like, oh, damn, we fucked up. Our bad. <laughs> we weren't sensitive to people with, <laughs> like, seizure issues. We should have been better at that. And then just move on. Like... <laughs> Nobody's gonna get. Nobody's gonna, right. especially not in like the '90s. Nobody was gonna get canceled because you accidentally gave people a seizure. Okay, on it TV. says on September 19, twenty twenty, the official oh, Pokemon Twitter account referenced the episode <laughs> saying <laughs> Porygon did nothing wrong. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! In reference um, to the resulting explosion from a Pikachu Thunderbolt <laughs> attack and a being the in-universe cause of the flashing lights, not Porygon. That's a weird. The, the tweet move. was. Was deleted shortly thereafter. <laughs> the it's speculated uh, to be because of the meme's distant origins in the oh, trolling man. phrase, Hitler did nothing wrong, uh, leading to the accusations yeah, of anti Semitism uh, or because of the taboo subject matter. <laughs> Honestly, that's, so, first, that's a roller really coaster tweet in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Porygon caused seizures and then he hated the Jews. It's yeah. Jesus. Oh. No one's gonna laugh. Yeah. They're gonna act all like, oh, we were excusing Porygon after all these years and then they get called racist. They deserve yeah. it. <laughs> like, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, yeah, delete. It's Porygon's fault like, again. Yeah. Someone Porygon looked at the Twitter. Someone yeah. looked at the PR manager for Twitter and went, "What did you do?" <laughs> they, no, they probably had a meeting about it, and they thought they thought it was so funny. Of like, yeah, let's just like excuse Porygon after all these years. It'll be super memey. It'll be hilarious. All the fans will get it, and then they did it, and it immediately backfired. And they were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Porygon did nothing wrong." <laughs> Oh, I wonder how quickly it was deleted. <laughs> like... As quickly as somebody made the connection, basically. They probably yeah. didn't even think about it. And then there were, somebody That's was like, I'm thinking. Yo, why supremacists always say Hitler did nothing wrong? Mm -hmm. You're saying Porygon is Hitler? And they're like, <laughs> We got a follow we met. <laughs> well, is that where that like, phrase originated from? Because I've heard like people joke, like, Blank did nothing wrong. Not yeah, there's like a joke of like, yeah. The Empire did nothing wrong. Thanos yeah. did nothing wrong. Like, but that's, that's a meme. I never that, like. That's what it kind of equates to, yeah. People say, like, Hitler did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's, like, the original version of it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then some edgy people memed it. Something. And, yeah. You made it less <laughs> offensive by making it funny and memey. Yeah. But there's still people that hold on to the fruits <laughs> of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Every time I learn about, like, a white supremacist <laughs> catchphrase, I'm just like... It's just so upsetting. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> like, learning about uh, d during the yeah. Capitol raids, there Ooh. is somebody. What's that? Ooh. Ooh. It's the sword Ooh, Pokemon. Nasty. He's going to cut you up real good. <laughs> uh, during the Capitol riots, somebody was wearing a shirt that said uh, uh, 6MWE, which I guess stands for 6 million wasn't enough. Wow. Referring Jesus. to Holocaust. and I was like, and they were like, it's a common like white supremacist neo Nazi phrase, and I was like, it is. <laughs> it's just like so upsetting. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like Jesus. I'm and they make it so casual by like boiling it down to six M W E. I would have never if you put six M W E in front of me and said like guess the guess the like acronym, I would be like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, like, I'd be like, is that a code? monkeys want everything? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like, that's W D forty's younger brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just upset that so like cryptic. It's so doing weird. the okay symbol with your hands is now can be offensive. That's <laughs> I'm like, well, that has such a bonkers story. That thing's gotten I, like so out of control. I remember at one time I was at work and I was explaining to like to other coworkers about it, and they're like, "Wait, what?" And I was like, "Yeah." And now it's an on-running thing because well, I'm, the now only, I... I'm the only white guy at work. <laughs> so they just like occasionally they'll walk up and go, "Oh," and I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's gotten Snorlax. it's. I can't like it's got it's reached a point where like now we no longer know if it's like 4chan bait or if it's like legitimate white power. So confusing. No, because nobody knows at this point. Like even the people doing it don't know like <laughs> anymore. True, true, true. It's like, like it started uh, as a 4chan prank, 
but now it's like evolved into like some white supremacists do actually do it some don't and the media blows it up so it's like it's like it's a lose lose situation no matter what it's context at that point like <laughs> if you're you at a rally you, and you do it you know? <laughs> like sometimes you're watching a video and it's like a guy like walks up and like puts his hand somewhere and he does the hand symbol at the same time and you're like is what did he what, do it what are you he... doing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which one <laughs> Are you playing the Are you playing the circle game with me, or are you <laughs> or not? Yeah, like, if, it, if, it's the, the, if it's below the if it's below the knees, knees circle, yeah, below the knees. Knees. Or, yeah, yeah, No matter no matter which one it actually is. <laughs> meanwhile, 4chan's just laughing no matter what. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just gotten way out of. It's gotten hey. so beyond. Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 Look at this. Oh, um, there she is. Well, I'll take oh, it. another <laughs> done <right>. three. <laughs> That's where Davian Shorts is going into. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's like if I, when Brian Venmo's need money back, I'll buy that card. <laughs> you have to cover uh, your losses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before you can buy the B. For the beat, Trust me, the Damien, this beat. is a thousand dollar box. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn, he's whoa, waited. Whoa. Uh, boy, oh, waited. Nice. He's gonna get sleep for every single Pokemon. This <laughs> needle <laughs> going in my wheel of sleep. Uh, hang on, where is it? This Pikachu got a Pikachu sleep. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, that's just the sleep to the vivid voltage bags. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 <This is> true. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I would say, honestly, no matter the value of opening cards, I think the most satisfying thing is opening the pack itself. <laughs> like, I don't care what's in it, but just, I don't know. I suck at weird. opening those yeah. fucking things. Really? Man. Oh, dog, that's my thing. I, for a while, was getting, <laughs> I bought, like, a couple basketball cards, and my shit's so just, like, every time opening the box, <laughs> the pack, and I was like, oh. There's, like, a sense of nostalgia in it, and it's just, it's weird. Yeah. It's just, it it's should either go like hand. flying out of my hand, yeah. <laughs> and then Doritos go everywhere. Oh, <laughs> cool ranch Doritos all on the floor. Dude, one time in tenth grade history class, uh, <gasps> somebody had a bag oh, of oh. Cheez Its, oh. and we were like, it was like the teacher was just like oh. lecturing, and we were all sitting there, and we were like in the corner, and this girl that we were just like talked to all the time, she was like just trying to like you can't like <laughs> beat in class. Cool ranch Doritos, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> That's one dick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're not allowed to eat in class, so she's like sneakily trying to open up this bag oh, of like cheese. It's like uh, you know when you put your like backpack oh. on your desk and you have your yeah. backpack open, so that you like try to hide it in your backpack. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's like struggling, and struggling, <laughs> and we're just like watching her, and she, boom, and it's just fucking like she pulled it so hard, it just like flew open, and all the cheeses uh, went everywhere. Uh, fucking even though she was everywhere. opening it in her backpack, it still, like, flew it everywhere? Everywhere, yeah. It just, uh, I guess she wasn't, like, deep in her backpack. She was just, like, right there, and it just fucking, yeah. like, the whole class heard it. The whole class saw it. There's just cheeses all over the floor, <laughs> and she's just standing there with, like, the bag in her hands, or sitting there with the bag in her head, like, just shell-shocked, and, and, like, just fucking, all you could do was, like, die laughing. It was so funny. It was... But I don't even remember what the oh, how the teacher responded. Yeah. Oh, I think I went back to teaching like yeah. she'll clean the stuff. <laughs> like the funny thing is, like once you even if you get that bag open, there's only like really two ways to <laughs> eat those cheese heads, and they're both dumb. You either gotta like take some out and look like you're like yawning, like oh I gotta cover my mouth <laughs> real quick, and like put them in your mouth, or you put your head to the backpack <laughs> and like uh. oh. <laughs> Well, we're like we were like back in the corner, so he probably could have gotten away with it easier than most. Ooh, Ooh amazing! Amazing! Ooh, amazing. Ow, where? Oh, 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 okay. Is that a point guard? Is that a point guard? Who's there? <laughs> Damien's. It's Zarud's sandstorm, dude. No, I I got past him on my team. Oh, my fantasy Pokemon. Who has Zarud? This card, this Japanese, like I think it's ice cream or a popsicle or something. They're doing a promo where there's like a little stamp there of that brand. Like if you get the winning stick, uh, you can turn it in to get this. And like this dude got caught for fraud for sending in fake <laughs> sticks, and he got arrested. Oh my god! Yeah. It's, it's like it's like fucking Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. How they lied about the person drawing the last fucking golden ticket, so I would stop. Yeah, but at least that like 
That meant something. <laughs> well, these cars are going for like five hundred or something. Yeah, I was Maybe just saying. Imagine uh, if uh, they'd be okay, worth a lot right. of money. That's crazy. Five hundred dollars or a whole candy factory, though. <laughs> you think about it. Ooh. Well, no, a chan- that was just a visit the chocolate factory. You didn't know you were getting the oh, whole chocolate factory. Yeah, yeah. 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 Imagine how much Augustus got the short end of that mm-hmm. stick. <laughs> he was gone in the first hour. He should have even that. Have drank the, the chocolate river. What? You weren't gonna put your hand in the chocolate river? Yeah, once? Like, excuse uh, me. I wouldn't want all in it. <laughs> this yeah, kid, the whole movie was eating chocolate. Wonka the put them in a room. At that point, he had a chocolate bar in his hand. Hey, Wonka put nuts. that in that room. Said everything in this room is edible. <laughs> Go fucking nuts. They went fucking no. nuts, and then he gets yeah. mad at Gloop for putting yeah. his hand in the river. Let's, and let's no. be fair, wasn't it? Was it river. Willy Wonka? At least in the first one, the Gene Wilder one. His th- response was, "No, wait, <laughs> stop." <laughs> <laughs> that was the response. Yeah. <laughs> he knew what would happen. Yeah, he knew. <laughs> oh, he when you live, when you live long enough, you, you realize. Oh, he was setting those kids up to die. Yeah, yeah. he was ready. He was like, "My insurance is great." Lose, good day, sir. <laughs> if one of these, if these, if any of these kids die, I got lawyers up the ass. Like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> My Oompa Loompas can hide a body, yeah. and make it look like an accident. Yeah. He's like, I get away with slave labor every day, and nobody says shit. I'm invincible, bitch. I want to be fucking Wonka. Come get me. I got fucking, I got fucking spies out here. I got dudes uh, out here whispering into kids' ears for me. I'm making candy movies. <laughs> have weapon candy, just shotgun, <laughs> shotgun candy. Uzi. The candy. public loves me. I cannot be beat. They so think like, I'm a fucking genius. I'm Walt Disney on coke, baby. <laughs> really was. I'm Pixie. Like, did Willy Wonka <laughs> purposely plant the fucking golden chocolate bars somehow to like get them to the people he wanted? That's what people are saying. Cause like, it had to be gamed a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like, but there's Charlie no way he sure. could have got like Charlie. There's no, no, no Charlie was the most obvious one because remember he was he didn't get it, and then like he found quote unquote found a dollar or whatever. How yeah, much he found a dollar it. in the sewers. Yeah, yeah where that where that dollar come from? Right, he, he found a dollar. Yeah, he was the first person from, like, to buy it. He was guy. like in the sewer grate. Right, yeah, he was, was dejected. Yeah, because that butler guy was like, oh, better also, put this dollar over. Here. Where'd Grandpa Joe get that? get that dollar that he gave him, or that chocolate <laughs> bar that he gave him. That motherfucker ain't worked a day in, like, 30 years. And that suddenly he's got a chocolate bar, 30 he's like, years hey, that could walk this is our <laughs> birthday gift. Let's open it together. <laughs> like, man, nah, somebody gave him that chocolate bar. He spent his life savings. Well, wait, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the first one, did he have the... Did he it was his birthday gift to Charlie. But in both versions, it was? Yeah, he was just like, hey, Charlie, I got you a birthday gift. And it was a chocolate he's bar. A chocolate. Let's open it together. Pulls it out Let's open it together. Yeah, and then they were disappointed. They're like, oh, I want an egg. <gasps> Ooh, the whale lord. I want it. Can I and hit then... my short sock on that whale lord? <laughs> yeah, you... It go with my pillow real well. Yeah. Then he went to the candy store to buy one. And then on the news, they were like, the last one was found. And they're like, oh, man, shucks. And then it was like, no, it was a fraud. And then he found that dollar in the street. Well, it was like, it's, one I like, I like the, the difference between the two because I think in the second movie or the first movie, it was like, oh, this person just did a fraud one, whatever. <laughs> in the second movie, it was just the newscaster lying. <laughs> it was like, I admit it was me. <laughs> I didn't want anyone else to find it, so I lied. <laughs> oh, really? What? I don't remember that. That's I so think good. so. If I'm correct, it was yeah. just the newscaster lying. <laughs> I'm a fraud. The truth oh, is that the, the last guy was the real winner, but Willy Wonka didn't want him, so he eliminated him. He's like, yeah. we'll re-roll again. Yeah. He's like, this guy Charlie. made a boot. Yeah. <laughs> this guy counterfeited the golden ticket. He's like, no, I swear, I found it naturally. Get me Everybody Charlie. demonize this man. Send me what you want. No one will hear you. He says. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, mean, the- I really found it naturally. No, this man's a fucking criminal. <laughs> I know the one thing everybody always brings up is like, how the fuck, if it wasn't rigged, how the fuck did every kid who got it, why were they white, you know? Mm-hmm. White and like pieces of shit. Like complete <laughs> pieces of Everyone shit. Everyone in Roll Doll books are white. Fucking, what is it, six kids? Six <laughs> Not, kids that are uh, all garbage piles? <laughs> but no, man. I don't know, man. Yeah. Very sus. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> 
Definitely. But yeah. Why did he choose? To Charlie? be fair, one of them won because her dad was a millionaire and stole it <laughs> from her fucking worker. Well, that's why it has to be rigged, right? Because the obvious thing would be it would be all rich people. Because who has the best chance to find the golden ticket? The people that can buy the most Willy Wonka yeah. candy. So it I'll, has to be at least yeah. somewhat well, rigged. Well, I would say, I would say it's favorite. rigged because the last ticket found was found within the city that the chocolate factory is in. <laughs> we should have lived in the Literally the five movie, Charlie goes outside the gates of Willy Wonka's factory and is like, oh man, yeah, imagine. Someday. And then that creepy guy goes, hey, hey, kid, how's it going? He's like, oh, shit. Fucking That's why my theory makes sense, where they actually found one. And they're like, nope, nope. We gotta, he's not what I wanted. Yeah. I wanted Charlie. Make this look like an accident. Make it look like fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cause yeah, that's that's how Charlie figures out it's a fake. It's in the first one. It got it got it said it got found, and Charlie is like, man, and he goes outside the chocolate factory and he's standing there, and those two guys walking their dogs are like, oh, did you hear that the the the, the, the ticket was a fraud? The guy lied, and you're like, oh wait, I have a chance. And he's walking down the street and finds the dollar. That dollar, that suspicious dollar, yeah, that suspicious ass dollar. Yeah, because then he runs away. Because that's that's true. Because then he instantly runs away. Because the, yeah, the candy man's like, like run, 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 yeah, yeah, run, yeah, run, 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 He runs into the tunnel, and the the guy, the spy, the quote unquote. What's his name? Corp, I forget. Um, I don't know. It's a rival something. candy company. No, that's Go, what it's played as. It, yeah. Instantly yeah. finds him in the tunnel as he's running, <laughs> and he's like. You gotta help me. He's he like, fucking found every kid right when they <laughs> they got. Well, to like, be fair, like, on, on the, when he, he was on the, the team. kids, the only time you see him is when they're like getting interviewed because they found. Well, the as I said, every time they get interviewed, he, he like creeps up behind them, like whispers in their ear. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> he's that's on, so he's fucking the team. creepy. It's clearly right. Right. Is, it yeah. is it Slugsworth yeah. or something like that? Yeah, Slugsworth. There is that's the guy. Fucking Slugsworth. Give me the gobstopper, Charlie. Give the everlasting the gobstopper. <laughs> <laughs> made me really want an everlasting gobstopper, even though the size and shape of that thing is unnatural and would not fit in anyone's mouth. And would well, hurt your fucking it? mouth. I was going to make something that never runs out of flavor, okay? Let's think about it. It's got to no, be not big. It, it never runs out of flavor. It never runs out. It's, it stays well, the same. Is, but, it, yeah, but yeah. like Either what? way, you need it to be big for that technology to happen. Okay? <laughs> goes, we don't that goes completely against the just general laws of physics. Like, <laughs> literally, like I'm sucking on this thing and it doesn't get any smaller. It's just it's the just, salt rock. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just constantly creating mass, like <laughs> <laughs> it's like a jawbreaker, but what, also, that re regenerates. To me, also shaped wasn't like, there a, like fucking, a little like, like toy or something. Wasn't there like a toy that like looks like this? Oh yeah, the, like, the one that like that, like it just vibrated. I didn't know what oh, it was. Oh, yeah. But that sort of reminded me around. every time I saw it. I was <laughs> like, like, hot like, potato with it or something. Yeah. yeah like, I, I, <laughs> that's what that gobstopper always reminded <laughs> me as. Like, this thing that just <laughs> vibrates. <laughs> I remember when I worked at Toys R Us, someone asked me, like, do I do they have those toys? And I didn't. <laughs> At what first, I didn't know what they were talking about, <laughs> but then you described it, like, oh, I know what you're talking about, and I have no idea what it's, it's called. It's really old. Yeah. By, I was saying, by the time you worked at Toys R Us, those toys weren't made Yeah, anymore. that's what, like, like, They had like, been long, long gone, gone by then. I, but then it just reminded me, like, damn, what are the, what's the name of those toys? And I, Also, I like, I don't remember ever, like, going out and getting that toy. Like, I always felt like <laughs> every house appeared. had one, but they just, like, well, I don't know where it came from. It's just weird. <laughs> It came from the crazy toy man that snuck <laughs> into people's homes. And off. Like, hey, I have my vibrating toy, kid. I don't know what it does either. <laughs> you figure it out. Before, before uh, the Google Home and Alexa, it was that toy listening to everyone's conversations. <laughs> no, that's the Furby. Come on. The Furby before the Furby for too. The CIA or whatever. Oh no. Furby, do you work for the CIA? I don't know. What? 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 <laughs> I, for legal reasons, I can't answer. Oh. <laughs> Just starts like sparking, and bursting in his plane. Oh! Abort! 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 Abort!
I found oh, it. Like, I think they made him slightly less terrifying. I don't. Yeah. I haven't seen one in a while. But I know. I remember the time they updated the eyes to be like LEDs. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, the <laughs> best. Really the best mean. thing about Furbies are long Furbies. Let's get this straight. <laughs> Where if I'm getting any kind of Furby ever in my life again, it's a long Furby. Oh, so... wearing like a scarf. <laughs> oh god, no. It is my child. Oh god. Oh, no, I don't want to be associated with your existence. <laughs> I think we're done being Is that a so, trainer card with an energy picture on it? Oh, uh, no, it's a special energy type. Okay. Of energy. Special. Water yeah. energy. So I found the toy of what it was, the, the, the toy we're talking about, mm -hmm. but it doesn't give a purpose of what it actually did. <laughs> It's, it's just... called the Bumble Ball. Bumble Ball? I don't remember. I, if yeah. I had to guess, I was going to say, like, Zorb Zorb. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, why would it actually have a like, 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 yeah, It just says, yeah, it has knobs and it <laughs> vibrates and some play music. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, they wanted yeah. kids to that's put it, it up there. That's it. Butt. What does it do? It just vibrates. It's a ball. It vibrates. Just because you did that, Brian, doesn't yeah. mean every kid did that. Oh, come on. Nobody, <laughs> nobody put their buzz bumble ball up ball their butt hole. <laughs> Some they of us didn't it. have the buzz bumble ball. Yeah, they might Everyone have had one. Trust Everyone. me, I, I went to look for this toy, and I the first thing I was like, vibrating toy? And don't <laughs> look at vibrating no. toy. I'll tell you that much. That's not something you want to do. I didn't tell you that. Don't be naive. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was not thinking right, and I went vibrating toy. Oh, Adam and Eve popped up a bunch. You should have searched vibrating gobstopper. I typed in <laughs> vibrating children's toy, and I got it. No, <laughs> no, not either. No, no, not either. That's, that's really dangerous. You're going to end up on, like, CP sites, man. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. go to images. Google images is safe. Wow. No, no even worse. Sort of even worse. Uh, like, no. Google's images is safe. Being Your bubble ball starts, is... like, going crazy. Like, yeah. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> I was like, being images is not safe. Google images is safe. I uh, I search for vibrating gobstopper, and the fourth one is a bumble ball. <laughs> nice. You're a smarter man than I am. <laughs> Look, we're like more than vibrating halfway through a four loco at this point. You know, <laughs> things go out the window. Look, Look officer. I got him. Oh, I'm so loco. I accidentally Google search CP. <laughs> right? It happens. It's an honest thing. Dark web. Officer, I was like two locos in of a four loco. It happened. <laughs> oh, sorry. You never look for your childhood toy and accidentally end up on some child porn? Jesus, officer. Kill me. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> Sir, I was just checking to see if you're okay. I didn't even know anything <laughs> about this CP stuff. <laughs> right? We had noise complaints. That's all I can hear. Talking about cartoon ponies? <laughs> no. Uh, what? Cartoon oh, man. Ponies. Speaking of cartoon ponies, there's that one website that lets you use AIs to translate any text into speech. And a lot of the speech options are cartoon ponies. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. I was wondering where you were going with that. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> so far, none of this has to do with that. But, but they use <laughs> cartoon ponies. The, uh, the, what is it called? My, my Little Pony. My Little Pony. My Little Pony. I was like, why do I forget? They use My Little Pony uh, uh, to train the AI because the way they speak is so, like, emotionally charged and, like, very, oh, very expressive. Very expressive. <laughs> Yeah, so the they, yeah, they, well they from... train the AI with My Little Pony, and yeah. it speaks to you like My Little Pony? My Little Pony characters. Or other yeah. characters, too, but they trained yeah. it originally with My Little Pony because of its expressive uh, mm -hmm. dialogue in that show. Ooh. But you can also use Zapdos. So wait, you, can you choose... <clears throat> The person, the character you talk to, or is it just yeah, random? It does set characters that it's been trained as. Yeah. But... It's a text to speech, basically, but in their voice. Mm -hmm. You, so can you technically can technically like... do it for anyone, but that guy only trains specific <laughs> characters that they probably. I feel want. like this guy's a brony. 
<laughs> no, he was no, he's keeping the bronies at bay. Uh, he's like, I'll keep them occupied with this AI text to speech, <laughs> make it feel special. They're gonna spend all their time just inside talking to themselves as a bron as a pony. <laughs> and everybody and the world will be safer for it. <laughs> I'm glad you are resident, my little pony expert. <laughs> Is the truth. That pony crowd still big? Probably. Uh, I would assume would so. They're yeah. not like. I, well, I don't know why they would not. Ooh, Charizard. Like, they're, they're, they would die down. I'd say the like. Tiny the... Chazod. Chazod! It's shiny. Look at that. I mean, I mean, he's he a little, he a little pricey. Three dollars. <laughs> so I would nice. say the like Dang. general, like the general, like crowd reaction to bronies has died out. I don't think people talk about bronies anymore. They've kind of just like shuffled into their own crowd <laughs> and now it just lets them do their thing. But there's a lot going on I'll in the world right now. I'll <laughs> yeah. never forget the day I worked at the theaters <laughs> and oh. there was a showing of a My Little Pony movie. Oh, yeah. And I went, I was I working that, that day. Is that the one where they transformed a teenage girl? Yeah, is that I have a no idea? Girl? No so idea anything is? about this, this movie. All That's I know is like, creepy. I was working that day. <laughs> And I saw, the, I went, looked at all the movies and everything, and I was like, oh, no. And they were like, what? And I was like, there's a My Little Pony movie. And like, so I was like, do you not know about bronies? I'm like, what's that? And I was like, just adult males Yo, that don't love My Little Yo, Pony. Yo, and I'm like, what? Is that a thing? And when that movie show started picking up, just yep. a bunch of adult guys wearing My Little Pony shit started funneling in this goddamn building. And I was like, see? <laughs> it was crazy. It was like... I actually was like, I saw like a Reddit conversation about it or thread about it. And like, it's kind of interesting because it also started as sort of like a 4chan troll type thing mm -hmm. where they like were ironically like watching My Little Pony. It's like, haha, like, look at this kid's show. Let's all watch it and just like joke about it and blah, blah, blah. Like, it'll be our little like funny thing. And then it <laughs> developed into like people were watching it were like actually enjoying it. They're like, oh, like it's a it's a pretty fun show. Like the characters are funny and like the storylines are interesting. And so then they developed their own like 4chan mm -hmm. sub or whatever, uh, 4chan room of like actual people that liked My Little Pony and they were bronies and it was fine. And they just and they just had their own little space and nobody knew about this. And then. <laughs> 4chan being 4chan, like, people started brigading it and, like, making fun of them, and then it then, so then they responded by being, like, more proud of their, like, enjoyment of the show, and it blew up into this whole brony subculture thing, and then the show creators, like, <laughs> caught on to, like, oh, we have, like, adult fans of the show, so then they started writing uh, things in the show to kind of, like, acknowledge their adult fans, like, hey, we know you're watching, like, keep watching, thanks for the support, and so, like, so then to the bronies the show got even better because they were like oh like the show like the show creators uh acknowledged us like senpai noticed me <laughs> and and then it just yeah and then it just evolved into to what it is today but like that's what's crazy is like knowing that like the show creators are aware and like intentionally like respond like, to them I say, it's the a little is, creepy like, knowing that they made a movie where the whole premise of the movie is the <laughs> ponies become teenage girls yeah, yeah, say, yeah. like the that thing is so like dark, i don't really. mind i don't mind people that enjoy the show yeah like <laughs> fuck it enjoy what you want to enjoy it's the guys that like come out and crazy like people. this pony is my waifu <laughs> yeah and yeah. like come out and like bring those like ponies with them in public places mm -hmm. and this and that that's what i find a little strange or don't have the like, self-aware don't have the self-awareness yeah. to be like i'm enjoying a kid's show it's yes. not for me it's for kids but i can still enjoy it like yes, they're, exactly. they like, think that's that why, it's like, for uh, them me, and that's me like, watching weird. spongebob i'm like this is a funny show mm -hmm. this is a show mm -hmm. i enjoy it's for kids yeah. but it's still funny mm -hmm. like i can still enjoy yeah. this any show like regular show adventure time yeah all of those shows, even watching like Fairy Odd Parents and stuff like that, like this is a kids show, but I enjoy it. But it's still not my it's not my demographic. <laughs> yeah. It's not meant for me, but it's fun to watch. That's it. That's right. I'm sure about. most bronies are like chill. Yeah. We just always hear about yeah, the crazy yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, it's, it's always more interesting to it, talk yeah, about the crazy It's yeah, always exactly. the crazy people. You're not going to talk like, about just the guy the who enjoys occasionally watching a My Little Pony episode. You're going to yeah. talk about that guy that you saw wearing a pony <laughs> a shirt with a, 
<laughs> exactly. Like wearing a Rainbow Dash shirt, wearing holding our closet, are we? <laughs> holding like a Rainbow Dash doll or something. Like that's the person you're gonna talk about. Yeah, hey, I have SpongeBob shirts and SpongeBob. Shirts. <laughs> what are you? I have. To say? I have a Sponge. I have a two SpongeBob figures. I have Surprise Patrick and Handsome Squidward. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, but, the, but those were the meme figures they made after their N Nickelodeon was like, oh shit. Yeah, you're yeah, not a real fan. Like, oh shit. Like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I, mean, I have Kurt. I have my Muppets figures and shit like Filthy that. Casual. Muppets is not meant for me. It was a kids demographic show. Yeah, but I think Muppets has evolved into like, just more of like an American pastime type. Damien of thing enjoys like Cookie Monster. That is true. Never, for never demographic. To my tweet Nobody's going to judge you. Like, <laughs> one day, you one day, Cookie Monster. Yeah. After Damien drops one day. that stand track, Dear CM, <laughs> why don't you call it? <laughs> <laughs> working on it. He'll, he'll notice me eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I ate six cookies, but you didn't write back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? I, I'm pre-diabetic now, but you know, how, you know how it is, DM. You and my I'm coming now. down to one, two, three Sesame Street, and I'm gonna kick your ass, DM. Oh, damn. <laughs> Shut up, Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, no. <laughs> Tell Big on. Bird, I'm coming to cap in his ass. This I is would not never. I would never. Us. I would back. never do that. We're gonna uh, get some. Oh, we're gonna okay. get all right. All right. Final we're gonna pack. get this rainbow Pikachu. I can feel Here it in my gut. Let's get it. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Duraludon. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What did you call me? I called you a Duraludon. Or Duraludon? <laughs> Ludon? I don't know. Get your loot on, he said. Oh, another one! Yeah, oh, 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 double loot on! Double dual loot on! Reverse what? hollow and normal yeah, hollow! Oh my god! Oh, oh, the you pull. <laughs> double is the triple dual loot on! Now, what if it's a triple? Oh! Oh! No! He got us again with the slide of hand! I never see it coming. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Who's is it, Bill? This is a signed celestial colonnade with gold signature signing. It's oh number my goodness. 38 out of 81 out of the keep doing this? Zendikar Rising Art Series. Sleeve it, bro. Sleeve it. You need to sleeve it, bad boy. Yeah, yeah. sleeve it real quick. <laughs> Oh god, oh god. Careful, careful, oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Here's oh. the card the the card art for the actual Wow, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Can't believe we got that rare card. Oh, oh, so black. And this Pokemon pack is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> this looks wow. weird, it keeps coming with other game cards. <laughs> no, it's it's the luck that's why these are card these packs are so valuable. <laughs> oh, so that makes sense. box, right? What is this like? One hundred twenty dollars uh, or something? Uh, thirty dollars for the Pikachu. About thirty dollars for the B. Mm -hmm. Um, for sixty. The Celebi was pretty high. Celebi was fifteen. All right, twenty-five. The Where's sword. That dog. Uh, twelve seventy-five for the dog. Wow, you see that? You should have opened about... these boxes. You got about $30 altogether. It's all worthless. <laughs> Dogs. Yeah. All right, Brian, Venmo me my money. <laughs> sold it for two fifty. I think there were just technically some, like, maybe dollar-ish cards that we didn't count. Yeah, you had a not... couple, like, $3. Like, that yeah. Charizard you chose. Yeah, you had was, some $3. Like, $3. But, like, the, definitely the price is hyper-inflated. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like that's what the most Pokemon sure. cards. Uh, I Even I by Target today, and it was <laughs> I glanced at the card aisle like when you saw just desolate, just nothing, nothing there. Yeah. I've seen that, and now in three different Targets where you just God, pass I by and imagine. it's just Pokemon cards. <laughs> gone <laughs> i can't even imagine what like these poor target employees are going through <laughs> i can't imagine like... what the kids are going through when they're like hey, <laughs> yeah. hey mom can, can i get a pokemon card no they like 
they no, they spent like all day with their parents running errands, and they didn't want to. Mm-hmm. And the mom's like, "Look, it's okay. Like, if you come help me, we'll get you a pack of Pokemon cards for being patient." And mm-hmm. I'll be and like, "Okay, yeah, thanks, mom. You're the best." And they get a fucking target, <laughs> and it's just a wasteland. <laughs> They're like, "Uh, do you want this?" baseball card pack like no i want a pokemon like can't even get them like magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything oh, like, magic no, and Yu-Gi-Oh. you can get magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. i don't think you can get fucking basketball or baseball cards for your kids either yeah, <laughs> that's those, how bad it is those those are, are it's only like magic and Yu-Gi-Oh are the only cards that exist <laughs> wow. Wow. poor kids i was like i was i've been <laughs> there was a account i follow that used to do like card open like pack like box openings for basketball cards and they used to sell them sometimes this and that and they've just stopped just because they're like the market for it is ridiculous like i feel bad just opening these card packs for to like show off because they've gotten so expensive that there's like zero value like a ridiculous amount of zero value in any of these cards it's because we're like, all inside and bored out of our fucking minds and yeah, so everybody's just like something. everybody's just like hey let's get rich quick with these cards even though it's not well, it's like a, as anything, soon as like anything, everything goes back to normal people are going to stop collecting i would say anything that seemed collectible <laughs> at the time of quarantine that's when everything just kind of like spiked for no reason because it's like i'm bored fine it's just there's people buying the wrong things in a sense like Mm -hmm. not everything has value like for this one only pikachu and maybe like the full art trainer cards or whatever and the amazing rare cards are gonna have some value in the future and probably go up after enough time but like just buying pokemon because you think it's hot doesn't mean like it's actually hot. Yeah, you're, you're well, that's the thing. On a ten thousand dollar like yeah colossal V. <laughs> well, and the big problem is that it's like if everybody's collecting and nobody's buying, <laughs> then they're they're worthless. You know, like it's like you have to have both like buyers and sellers, and not everybody can be a seller. Like that doesn't it doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's just like, it, uh, yeah, it's just the market's weird. But that's just collectible, baby. Mm-hmm. There's also <laughs> some market manipulation for trading cards in general. Because, like, the supply is low enough where someone with enough money can, like, buy out the vast oh, yeah. majority of, like, the Pikachus a few months ago or, like, 80 or whatever, right? Uh. If, if you have enough money, like, you buy all of them, the prices are going to spike, you hold them, then you can slowly trickle them out. And sell them for like two hundred, right? Jesus, because they Fucking notice there's a shortage guy. of supply, and then they're by creating artificial scarcity, you okay, increase yeah, the baby. demand. It's oh yeah, trust me. <laughs> this I'm, I'm, I'm in the shoe game. Scarcity. I know everything about artificial scarcity. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Please rule number one in the shoe game. Artificial yeah. scarcity. Shoes are the like. As I mean, Brian, we're just talking about artificial scarcity. <laughs> oh baby, day. oh baby. <laughs> mm. Yes, daddy, trick me into thinking something is rare. Mm. <laughs> Make me want something so bad and refuse to give it to me, so then I'm forced to pay three times the price for it when you could have just given it to me in the first place, and I would have bought it. Yes, let me give my money to some weirdo in his garage with all these boxes of shoes. Yes. <laughs> so weird. God, I hate I'm sure it. they it's have very like, weird. weird analysts like crunching the numbers. They're like, oh, yeah. how little should we make to like get but the we, most? But, but we've seen this before. Did we not watch those Disney videos? Numbers always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> dictate the always supply and demand. Then, then we control the market. Yeah, it's yeah. Dumb. yeah, there's definitely some fucking accountant in there being like, well, if we <laughs> screw everybody over, we make millions. <laughs> like, why don't we just sell it and make millions? No! You know, <laughs> you know, you know if it we just released way. more, we'd make more money. No. <laughs> no, really no, let's less. pretend like it's rare. Sell for Only less money. money, nothing more. <laughs> uh, I, I think it also adds to, like, the brand, like, image exclusivity or whatever right yeah it, it creates value well, because, to the brand because, because actually you gotta remember value. most of these like i say especially with <clears> shoes <throat> that these limited release shoes don't really affect the market that much for them 
yeah. their market their market is in let me sell some basic air force ones that always sell let me At sell Macy's. these the runner like these people RV. that run like these running shoes that will always sell those that's where the money's made they don't give a crap about mm-hmm. these running shoes is those are like bonus money that's those, not their the limited shoes are just made to get teenagers to keep buying that brand yeah, to exactly. be popular you know okay. there's a there's a reason why nike duck is able to like there's a reason why Nikes are considered like the cool shoes and not like Puma, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, there's a reason. Like Yeezys don't make up Adidas market. It's Stan Smiths and superstars that make up Adidas. The basic market. ones. Like, yeah. The shoes that you find in every store and that are always in supply. Those are the ones that are making your money. Mm-hmm. The rest is just PR. Yeah. All right. Well, let's wrap up this episode. Oh, baby. Brian, you want to close it out? (laughs) Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, ring that motherfucking notification bell. Let us know that you love us and you care about us oh so much. It's been another episode of the Cardboard Crew. We open up the shiny cards and we talk about what's important. Good night.